Alright guys, and welcome back to more Rune Factory 4, and pretty much off camera, we were just going over a lot of information on the uh, the status screens and whatnot, and it looks like, like, the levels, like, it's ridiculous, you get so many different kind of status, because you get, you get long sword, axe, hammer, worth, or water, earth, wind, light, love, farming, logging, searching, walking, sleeping, defense, resist, sleep, Throwing leadership is ridiculous. Like, that's not even like the gist of it. Like, each of these give you like sub status up. So, like, if you raise up win, it also raises intelligence, win magic attack, and magic defense. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, man. And I was I was talking with the chat, and they were talking about the highest these levels can go up to, or the skills can go up to, or a hundred. And then like the maximum level you can get is 999. And someone said it can go even further than that, which is ridiculous. Like how? What? I don't even. I don't. I don't even comprehend like the ridiculousness in this game. <laughs> like this is such a game where you can just grind forever. Like this is a grind grinder's paradise. That's exactly what this game seems to be. I mean, I like the fact that it's like a farm slash hack and slash slash. It's like an RPG social simulator slash there's just so many different types of gameplay involved in Room Factory 4 and I like it so much so much is involved with this game so right now what we want to do is actually talk to Amber yeah Amber. Amber it's the funny face person what it's Katsu my name is Katsu do you understand now? Alright. <laughs> That's good. Then, so I'm Katsu. What? what? Thank you. What? For what? Thanks to you, I've managed to wake up uh wake back up. And then? You're welcome. Oh and <laughs> I'm really glad to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Hello. Hello. Oh Katsu. You remember something? Or is something wrong? <laughs> You're the tenth person. What? Huh? Tenth person to ask me that. <laughs> this town is filled with kind people. All right, let's take a bath. And came to use the bath. You may still use the bath free of charge for a little while. Go in. Nice. Doug's in here too. What up, Doug? I did it. Mine is bigger than yours, Doug. <laughs> well, what's, what's Arthur doing? Arthur, what the hell are you doing with that plant? Emmy seems to be naturally bright and cheerful. She's a ray of light upon the entire town. Damn. Oh, wait. Let's get out of here. Uh, let's go over here. She said, honey. Amber likes honey baths. Don't tell mama. Uh, okay. Right, let's go down. We still need to rest. Oh, wow. A broken stomp blue grass. Let's get that. Can we bring that in here and put it in here, I wonder? Oh, what, where did that stone go? Did I put it in there? I guess it got disintegrated somehow. Whatever, so what we're gonna do here, we're actually gonna do a little bit more axing. We're gonna be chopping this wood up since we got our rune points. Before we go to the next day, we might as well make use of all of our rune points for today. Let's go ahead and get this axe. Oh, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. Get that out of here. Oh, oh, oh. I love chopping. Don't come around my house. I'm going to chop you up. I'm going to ask you a few questions, homie. All right, I ran out of room points, so you know what? We're going to pick this up. We're going to go to sleep now. Now we're going to go to sleep. 
I was about to start using or losing health because once you run out of room points, you start losing physical health. I mean, I, I might as well just try to till, but I don't know how much damage you take for trying to uh, till while you're out of room points. So we're just gonna save it, call it a day, and wake up and go straight back at it tomorrow. Yes. What should I do today? Time to wake up. Signs of love. Yeah? Tomorrow is the cooking contest. My best event. Oh, really? This is one festival where I'll never lose. Uh-oh. Oh, snap. She gonna show us how to cook. She gonna get down. She gonna kick some collard greens. She gonna cook that good soul food. Oh, looks like we can get turnips. Turn up seeds. We even got seeds. Yes. What the? I did it. Nice. Bamboo sprout. What is that? Get this twig out of here. What the hell are you doing in here? All right, let's get the till in the land. Yo, 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 ho, ho. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Uh oh, set up for one piece. <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie though. I thought that I thought that uh, one piece thing was pretty catchy when it first came out. I can't get this out of there. Oh wait, I can. I wonder if I can keep it. Let's keep it. We gotta put all that lumber away too. I forgot to do that. Turn up, seeds. Get it? Turn up. We about to turn up. This is how we used to turn up back in my day. I don't know about this new turn up. But this is how we turn up. We turn up. <laughs> Alright, so now what we need to do is water. So let's get the water going. Got the water. Got the water, dog. Yeah, this is how y'all turn up. The new generation is doing it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So we finally got done with the watering and the planting of the plants and all that. So now what we want to do is try to talk to Ventus Will. Amber. Wait, Katsu. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? She's She knows more than what she's letting on. You have everything you need. Festival tomorrow. Show me the very best dish you can possibly prepare. It is a day early, but would you like to go over the rules for the cooking contest? Teach me the rules. Might as well. Now then, allow me to explain the rules for the cooking contest. Participants will submit their favorite dish to see who has the best cooking. The creator of the most delicious dish will be the winner. Please submit your chosen or chosen dish to me. That is all. Please feel free to ask me if you would like to revisit the rules. Can we do anything? Oh, licenses. We can get licenses, son. Let's get a cooking license. You can learn recipes for, for cooking by... <laughs> Eating cooking bread. You can learn recipes for cooking by... <laughs> Who needs recipes? Share intuition. Oh my god, you can learn recipes. None of these answers seem like correct. Let's say share intuition. What? I'm so mad at that. Like, none of them answers sounded correct. Let's say who needs recipes. What? Th what? You can learn recipes before cooking by eating cooking bread. If your cooking skill, uh, if your cooking skill, the uh, skill is lower than the difficulty level of the dish, it will kill us all. You can't make it. I don't even know how am I supposed to learn all this. Yeah. 
You can learn recipes for cooking by eating bread. How did how does eating cooking bread help you learn recipes? You need more RP, I guess. If you succeed in making difficult dishes, your kicking your kicking your cooking skill will gain more experience. Let's do it. I had to do it like three times. I got a simple cooking license. I can buy cooking tools from porcelain. Pro cooking license. All right, let's try to learn to mix medicines. All right, time to take a license exam. But the chemistry said medicine can be crafted from... Hmm. Well, the chemistry said medicine can be crafted from plants, flowers. Duh. If your max RP is lower than the RP needed, no problem. Numbers suck. Just will it to work. Crafting cannot occur. Oh, that was easy. Let's do it. That was pretty logical and common sense. I'll get my pro cooking license another time. Alright, let's worry about doing some requests now. Let's do a couple of requests. Here are today's request. Make a shipment. Write it down. Wrote down the details of the request in my notebook. He's offering to teach you how to ship through his or this request. Let's see. Here's what he has to say. I like to request a shipment. First place one turn up in the shipping box in the field. Items in the shipping box will all be shipped and paid for the next morning. Right, okay. So you should start by putting one turn up in just to get a feel for how things work. That's the extent of it. Once you place one turn up in the shipping box, come back and let me know. If you lose it, you'll have to grow another one yourself. Damn. Alright. Oh, I don't want to eat it. I almost ate it. Alright, let's go back into the garden. Well, we put like a massive amount of turnips in there. Seems you've done your part. Now remember, any items placed in the shipping box will be shipped at 8 the very morning or the next day. You can learn new things one by just, just like that. Alright, you can learn new things one by one just like this. Excuse me, I read it too fast. Before you know it, you'll be a pro at handling requests. Here is an all-sensual letter. Amazing! You did a great job. Oh yes, I asked the general store to increase the variety of seeds they sell. Nice. Buy seeds at the store, grow them, and ship them out as much and ship out as much produce as you can. <laughs> and it ends with less happy farming. Must be a joke. Less happy farming. Huh? Anyway, you're done for today. Come back again. Let's finish things off. No, man, you said we can start. She said she said we could take two requests. Deliver a turn up to his chlorica. Cheap sickle. I really need a fine turn up. Could you please give me one? Alright, I already know. Let's say I already know, because we already know. I'm sure you want to hear it again though, right? Damn, she told me anyway. First pick up the item you'd like to give. Then press A near the person you're giving it to. This will indicate that you want to present it as a gift. I prepared a beautiful turn up specimen just for you here, so... If you lose it, you'll have to grow another one. Oh my goodness. Is that you, Clorica? Oh, you saw my request! Now I'd like to give you this cheap sickle as a thank you. Cheap sickle? By using this to reap crops, you'll be able to get your hands on some high quality seeds. And well, you can also get rid of weeds fairly quickly that, uh, quickly that way. It's a very useful tool for cleaning the field. Thanks! I'm impressed with the work you've done so far, Katsu. You seem to have really gotten, ha gotten the hang of handling requests from the request box. That's because Eliza's been helping me out a lot. And you and everyone else too, of course. Wait, I thought Eliza was the only one he... Or, I thought Kasu was the only one who could hear Eliza. Eliza? Yep. 
Yeah, the request box. She's a little wacko, but very helpful nonetheless. I see. So you even name boxes, huh? That's kind of cute, like playing with a doll. Uh, thanks again for your help. That's weird. Does Clorica not know about Eliza? Yeah. 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 I'ma cut you up, girl. Oh, Bardo. What up, Bardo? Uh, Amber. She looks like a... She looks as gullible as Keel. Don't get me wrong. I'm only saying that because I'm worried about them both. Sure you are. Tomorrow will be the cooking contest. Yes. No. Uh, who's the favorite to win? Clorica? Our own Sir Katsu. Let's go. Me? Thank you. He said, let's go. Let's go. He's hype. Katsu's hype. He <laughs> was like, get hype. Get hype. Katsu's in the building, son. <laughs> I can hardly wait to see what sort of delicious feast will be presented. All right, look at that. We turned up this field with turnips. All right, so first of all, let's get rid of all that lumber we got. I didn't want to do that. There's a freaking rock in there. I can't, I guess I can't have the rock in there. So I tossed it outside. I hope, hopefully they won't complain about it. There's gotta be more lumber. Wait, uh, you can eat bamboo, or you can eat bamboo? What? I, I wasn't uh, aware that you could eat it. All right, was that all the? Uh, yep, that was it. All right, so what I want to do is actually get rid, get rid of some of these uh, useless items in here. So let's get rid of the stick. Get rid of. Let's put this in storage for now. We'll keep some of the turnips on us. I'm gonna put that in there for now. All right, now that we can cook, let's go buy some ingredients if we can. But damn, we have no money. Hey, Lin Fa. Hello. Good morning, Katsu, or good afternoon, Katsu. Hello. Cooking is an expression of love, Katsu. She doesn't look that old. There's a festival tomorrow. She has a daughter, but she's not that damn old. Arthur. Hello, Arthur. Are you working again today? Yes. As long as there are people depending on me, I'll never stop. There's a festival tomorrow. Cooking contest, eh? I heard from the royal chefs that it's important to follow all steps properly when cooking. His skills are almost beyond the realm of a human. What's up? Doug. I'm starving. Only Geary, huh? <laughs> Why not bread for once? Hey there. Ah, we can make on a Geary or whatever the stuff he was talking about. Alright, let's look at our uh Don't want anything? chat can you cook I can make some basic stuff all right how do we make how do we make that uh on a Geary often called a rice ball easy to eat and go on the go all we need is rice balls so all we need is rice Damn, dude. Is it possible to sell anything? What's up? Dude, rice costs how much? Rice costs 200 freaking dollars. I can't sell anything to these people. There's no way to there's no way to get money right now. The only way to get money is they pretty much ship stuff. 
It's Lin Fall again. Hello. Hey, Dr. Jones. Is it this late already? How time flies. Is there a festival tomorrow? It brings up many a fond memory for me. Okay. Alright, first of all, let's go put more stuff in this box. So Alright. 800 gold, sweet. I always quit. Let's get out of here. And you know what we're gonna do? We're actually gonna go to sleep. Screw that. Let's just get ready for the cooking contest. Wait, did I water the plants? Yeah, I did. Yes! <sighs> Time to go water the plants. Alright, so what we want to do, of course, water the plants, like I said, several times by now. Oh, what's up with the music? I guess they play this music when it's a festival. Like, there's confetti everywhere and everything. Oh, it's you! Is something the matter? Oh, what's up? What up, Venti? I just came to see you. Yes. I see, I see. Hmm? Just imagining the possibilities. What? I know I, <laughs> I had no idea you loved me, so... What are you talking about? Right. You don't have to hide it. Whoa! I'm not hiding anything! <laughs> you must be shy. Accept your feelings. Sometimes you don't make any sense, you know that? What? Don't make sense? How rude! Well, you're the one who started saying weird things. And you blame it on me, no less. You don't have the slightest respect for me, do you? Didn't you tell me not to bother with all the formality when we first met? That's true. <laughs> what is it? It's been a while since I messed around with someone like this. I guess I really don't see you act this way, or excuse me, I guess I really don't see you act this way in front of anyone else. Why is that? Well, because I'm a native dragon, a god! You see... Yes, that's it. How is a god supposed to keep her dignity when she's getting so close to humans? But what dignity? <laughs> Let's say that's true. <laughs> but if I were to let everyone talk to me like this, they'd all start depending on me for anything and everything. Yeah, that's true too. Because I'm the most approachable divine dragon of them all. In all seriousness though, it's of course alright to depend on me from time to time, but I can't be everywhere at once. I can't be everywhere at once, and I can't solve every issue. I'm not that kind of guy. It's the it's that sort of chaos where to begin. If that sort of chaos were to begin, people would start forgetting how to solve problems for themselves. I'm in love with this town. I want to protect Selfia. And eventually I'll be gone. But I want this town to keep flourishing well into the future. And that's why the current distance between myself and the townsfolk seem absolutely perfect. That does make sense. Hmm, but I think the people in this town would be all right getting to know the real you. I certainly don't believe they'd ever become completely reliant on you. Huh. Well, that's true. But it's something that's been driven into my consciousness. I can't give it up so easily. Well, what about me then? You don't keep your distance from me. You're an exception. Because you like me? You little rascal. <laughs> but thanks to you, I'm having fun now. Don't look so puzzled. You're a fun person. Now let's wrap this up before someone else sees us. Okay, I'll get going then. Alright. Bye. It's a festival! What are you doing in here? Oh, it's you. There's a lot to talk about. It may be best to save it for another time. If we have a long chat right now, someone might see us. What the? She started flying for a second. Did y'all see that? Would you like to change your life? Nah, I'm good. Let's talk. I heard there are fields in this town, but I cannot find them. Did someone perhaps hide them behind a giant castle? What are you trying to say, though? <laughs> Alright, so how do we go to this cooking contest? 
You know, let's go look at the calendar. Maybe it will tell us the time. Preparations for the tasting are complete. I will taste each and every dish, judging it with all the imp whatever he just said in the world. Each and every dish. Today is the cooking contest. Participants can register between 11 and 1800 hours in the castle plaza. Don't be late. It is a bit early, but would you like to go over the rules? Who's the favorite to win? What? Well, you just said it was Katsu. Come on, man. Uh, let us... Hmm. Can we go to the shipping box? Do we get paid? 8 a.m. So we gotta wait until 8. Alright. So while we are waiting, I guess what we'll do is... Go talk to the people in the town and then come back. Because we can't wait. We gotta get our money at around 8, right? So, just whatever. Hey, what's going on? Ember is such a good girl, isn't she? Her smile is infectious. I suppose. What up, Doug? So I decided to go with a dish that I like. If you can't decide what to make, just pick something you want to eat. It's easier that way. I need money so I can go buy the ingredients, homie. Hey, Margaret. Sure is. I wonder if she's into fashion. What about you? Watch out for a Forte's dish. It's not like she messes around with it. She tries hard. She's just um clumsy. Wow. I don't want to have a festival every week. Maybe like once every month would be cool. Today's the cooking contest. I like Pink Cat the best. That's not a dish. The judges for the festival must taste all the dishes to judge them, right? Of course. Forte, will you be okay? What's that supposed to mean? I hope no one gets hurt. <laughs> Do people get hurt? Not really, per se, but they're not unscathed. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> the only true rival during the cooking contest is Porkalin. I won't let you beat me, Katsu. Right. Not this time. Well, calm down. You have to do a lot of things. Once you cook, I have many problems to overcome before I could cook even half decently. What kind of problems? I don't even want to think about it. Why do you suddenly have this faraway look in your eyes? <laughs> Then everybody's gathering together. This is cool. Good morning. Good morning. I like to think I'm skilled at cutting materials. No, the cutting part never poses me any problem. After the cutting part, though. Good morning. Seriously? Did someone just buy something? I heard a cling. Oh wait, didn't mean to do that. All right. Oh, I know what happened. That means we just got paid. So let's go get our money from the box. Oh wait, we automatically got paid. Sweet, so let's go buy some damn, uh, some food. Some ingredients so we can actually make some food. Alright, so where do we buy the food exactly? That's not it. We gotta go up. Arthur. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, this is the first time we talked here, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, you're right. Well then, come to welcome to my office. You work here? Yes. Amazing. Wow. I work mainly with other stores and businesses. I'm afraid you won't be able to help with most of it. Oh, you know. But there is one thing. Actually. Are you familiar with the Harvest Report? Like... Harvest Report. Whether in other conditions determine whether your harvest is bountiful or poor. A harvest report can predict what may be coming. In this geographical area, the predictions are good for about one week. I have to try next week report. I have to. Uh, I, I, try, I try to have the next week's report fully prepared by Friday. I'm sure that can be very useful information when farming. 
Uh, please, why not? Okay. For example, you grow turnips. And perhaps the turnip harvest falls on a bountiful day. In that case, you'll be able to harvest a lot more turnips than usual. On the other hand, if you harvest that crop on a poor day, you will receive less turnips. I see. Turnips generally take three days for from planting to harvest. You'll still have time to harvest the crop if you plant it after hearing the harvest report. And if the harvest report is bad, I can just wait and harvest the crop later? That's basically true. Okay, basically. Let's say you choose to def uh, defer harvesting of the crop due to a poor report. That particular part of the field will be tied up in that crop, unusable until you harvest it. With turnips, it's better to just go ahead and harvest it. Then you can just plant it again and harvest it the next the week after. There are ways to manage this with slow growing crops. There are various fertilizers which can speed up their growth. That's true. Yeah, we know about that. Oh, I get it. Wonderful. You understand you understand understood that quite quickly. I expected no less of you, Gatsu. He may speak to him, okay. Or is he gonna give me a harvest report? Feel free to examine the books on the shelf over there. I'll keep the reports there for you. All right, cool. Thank you so much. Well, You're quite welcome. Well, it's a good thing we came and talked to him because he gave us another tutorial. Anyway, can we go ahead and buy ingredients? All right, hurry up, hurry up and open the shop, damn it! It's almost nine. I'm tired. So I decided to go with a dish that I like. Da 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 da. Yes! Welcome. We're having a 10% off sale. Nice. First of all, let's get some rice. Are you all right? Are you all right? Let's buy it. We're gonna try to make some onigiri. Here. Cook something simple. Yeah! Yeah! We made it! Let's try to make some more. Yes. Alright, we got a cooking level up! Skill up! Alright! Now, we gotta submit this at a, 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 a... What? During 11 and what? 12? Let's talk to uh, Doug. No, 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 no. We already talked to Doug. We already talked to Arthur. So what I might do here is actually just speed up the time until we can actually hand in the dish. I can just keep throwing stuff, right? Whoa, look at this. An apple. Nice. You're gonna keep that? A love crystal. Whoa, a love crystal. What's this? We found a love crystal while we was just killing time on the field. What the hell does that do? What is a love crystal? We gotta check that out immediately. Unshipped. 50% drain attack by 3%. Whoa, what the hell? Crystallized love that brings happiness. Generously lets you take your foe's HP when you attack. Wow! And look how much it sells for. Huh. That's interesting. Alright, so it's pretty much after 11, and now we can start handing in dishes. So what we might want to go ahead and do is pretty much hand in a, uh, a dish. An occasional cup of tea gives me a moment's relaxation and renews me for the work to kill. Alright, so I pretty much give him the food, right? Hey man, this is what I made. Yep, this is my entry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin the judging! The last entry, Sir Katsu's Onigiri. Clearly homemade, there's no doubt. Let's give it a try. The aftertaste, the texture. I'm full of energy, and my energy is fully charged. Very simple, but yet elegantly done. <laughs> okay! Our entries has been evaluate, uh, evaluated. Please wait a moment for the announcement of the results. Let's go. The contest has ended. I shall now announce the results. 
Third place was taken by. Nice! I got third place! My first contest! Get hyped! Second place was taken by. Blossom! Uh oh! Uh oh! Did Clorica get one? Nice! It's time to announce the champion! Kill! Damn! Kill 262, what you make? Damn! Congratulations on winning. Congrats. He went ham! This boy went ham! Congrats! Well done everyone, don't forget to bring your prizes home. Yo, there must have been weed in this food, man. I'm gonna eat this. No, I'm gonna keep it. Oh, I got cooking bread. Bamboo rice. What are you doing? Let's talk to everybody. Hello. Hello. The lunch at Porkelin's restaurant is amazing, don't you agree? Yes. Well, it's mostly well done. I think. <laughs> Man, I'm no good at cooking at all. I'm not particularly good at it either. Any skills will get you better with practice. We'll get better with practice, yeah. If you think about the people you're cooking for, you'll get it right in no time. I'd love to try Kiel's cooking one day. Well, stop by, uh, stop on by sometime. I don't mind. Do you have any specific requests? Anything with rice. Oh, since you asked, I would like. Oh, not the. I would not be averse to. Oh, and besides that, could you make some? Uh, so I guess I'll start with a rice base and add some of this and that, and then maybe. You know, since everyone is coming, I should just ask my sister to help out. I know. Great weather. On a sunny day like this, I just want to take a long walk. You know, it's, a, it's good to sit down and make your own dinner once in a while. Only once in a while. <laughs> Granny usually cooks for me. Hello. Really. Hello. Kiel. Yeah? Congratulations. Thanks. Having fun? Hello. Hello, Arthur. Are you working again today? As long as there are people depending on me, I'll never stop. It seems it takes more than knowledge to cook well. What's, Im what's important is experience. And a base level of talent, I'm sure. Alright, so you know what? Let's actually give him Onigiri, because he was talking about it the other day. Whoa, you gave me something I like. Thanks! Out of the taste or lack thereof. I consider it a privilege to be able to taste the best cooking everyone has to offer. <laughs> Aside from Forte's divisional traversities, the dishes presented today were all delicious. Alright. So let's see what requests we can do now. Since there's a festival today, how exciting. Alright, so before we do any requests today, we're going to save the game, take a break, and once we come back, we'll be back with more Rune Factory 4.